Hi guys, Matt Easton here, Scholar Gladiatoria. So, um, in a few videos I've put up recently regarding bucklers and the use of bucklers, the question has come up of whether you could hold uh, an additional weapon in your buckler hand. Okay, um, and I think the idea of this comes from uh, the fact that uh, certain people at certain times have held a weapon in the shield hand, uh, most famously the uh, Highland Scots, uh, carried a type of shield known as a Taj, and in their left hand of the, of the Taj uh, hand, as it were, uh, they would sometimes carry a, a dirk. This is a rondel dagger, but it's the closest thing I've got to hand. Um, so a dirk is a type of, it's actually a type of bullock knife, but I'll talk about that in another video. Um, and uh, so they would hold the uh, dagger in the same hand as the Taj, and then in their right hand they'd have their basket hilt broadsword. And you could use these things, obviously, the, the uh, Taj you could use defensively and you could use the um, uh, dagger both for attacking and for hooking and of course you've got your sword at the same time. So you can get some good sort of combos uh, going essentially with the three items. Uh, and Some people have asked could you hold a weapon in your buckler hand and I answered no. Okay well clearly I am doing it here. <coughs> I'm doing it as you can see. However I should point out that I'm not really doing it, I'm kind of bluffing it for the video. A buckler is very different to a shield, so a shield has straps essentially that go across your forearm. Uh, sometimes two straps, sometimes three straps, uh, with certain types of very long shield uh, in the medieval period. Uh, there was a type of very long shield that looks on the outside like a Roman shield, but on the inside is very different because a Roman shield actually has a just one handle. Um, on these type of long medieval shields, uh, they're a bit like pavises, uh, they actually have a series of straps down the back uh, and you can see them in some famous uh, 14th century Italian frescoes. Um, so, but generally most shields had either three strap, straps or two straps on the back and of course when you've got straps it enables you to have your hand free to some extent. You can either push your hand fully through the, uh, the final strap and leave your hand free or indeed because it's only a strap in your hand you still have space enough uh, to hold something like a dagger in there as well. However, with a large shield, if you held a dagger in your shield hand, the dagger wouldn't project beyond the ed edge of the shield because the shield is too big, so there'd be no point doing that. The reason that the Highland Scots could do it with their tages is a targe is relatively small. It looks a, a bit bigger than a buckler most of the time. They're usually about 24 inches or 20 inches in diameter, so quite small for a shield. And of course that means that the dirk can project beyond the edge of, of the targ and be useful. With a large shield it wouldn't really make any sense. You could perhaps hold something like a, a spear uh, in your left hand if you were using a large shield, say to resist, uh, to resist uh, cavalry for example. So if you were using a Shiltron formation, which I'll again talk about in a separate video at some point. Um, so a Shiltron is, as shown in Braveheart, it's a, it's a pike block essentially. Uh, but specifically they used to put the spear uh, base in the ground and have it projecting up diagonally. If you're holding a Shiltron uh, with the back end of the spear sticking up, you could have a shield on this arm and hold the spear and have a sword in your right arm as well. However, the reason it doesn't really work with bucklers is bucklers have this kind of grip. It is a bar, okay? Now once you've put your, uh, do it so you guys can see, once you've gripped that bar, your hand is essentially full. I can just about, with the end of my fingers, hold a dagger. However, it would get knocked out or drop out of my hands really, really easily. And it's not really practical with a buckler. Yes, you could have a buckler with a very thin grip, and in fact, certain types of buckler used in, in Asia, but in fact, you do see them in European art as well, instead of having a, a bar at the back, actually have two straps that you hold the two straps together. I actually use one of these bucklers. I don't have it to hand at the moment. It's, it's called a dal. It's an Indian type of buckler that's used in Gapka uh, and Shasta video. And uh, I like that type of uh, strap gripping, and it, as I mentioned, it was used in Europe as well, although it wasn't as common as the bar grip shown here. Um, and um, 
I quite like that strap grip because it's, um, I like the fact you can hold it quite tight and you can change the direction of the buckler quite nicely because you've got two straps instead of one bar uh, and the bar can sometimes get knocked and rotate in your hand. Most people who use bucklers regularly prefer a flatter handle because you can keep the edge orientation and I should mention you tend to stick your thumb up the back like that to assist with steering uh, the buckler and many bucklers the bar is actually flat with the inside here so your fist is actually more inside that dome and that dome on the buckler is what your fist actually goes into okay so when you see shields like Anglo-Saxon Viking shields even Roman shields that boss as it's called the shield boss on the front is to accommodate your fist in case you don't know that I'm sure most of you do okay so essentially what a buckler is is it's like the boss taken off an earlier style shield and used by itself okay so there we go um, you could uh, and in it, it is in fact shown in uh, Talhofer there is an example of a, uh, a dagger being held in the buckler hand however it's quite fiddly and it's not very easy to do with the traditional European bar held uh, buckler so I think that whilst it, it was done historically occasionally the main reason that it wasn't common um, is because it's it's not very easy to do and not very convenient to do with a with a boss held with a bar held buckler like this it's more practical with a, a targe which is therefore why we see it more commonly with the Highland targe which has straps onto your forearm. Cheers!